What is going on, y'all, and welcome back for episode two of How to Build a Castle. And today, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and extend this another three meters and build another ring around it. So this is going to be the earth wall that surrounds the entire base. And only on this side are we going to have to raise it up. The other side, it's already level with the ground, so we'll actually have to dig down a little bit. But this is going to be our entrance, and we're going to build a little ramp straight down through what is going to be the courtyard to the harbor. But yes, there will be a courtyard in a harbor. So as you can see, we're just going to raise up all the ground, and we're going to make a ring. And as I go, I'm going to place platforms off of the wall so I can just keep the same distance. That way we can make sure that when we come back that it lines up square and we can fill it in nice and pretty. I'll just run back and flatten her on out. Got our spacer boards right there, making sure that we're the right distance away. And we're going to come back, and then we're going to slap concrete blocks all the way across. And we're not going to complete the entire wall just right now. We're just going to get the foundation going. And we'll come back and finish maxing it out. So as you can see, that's what we got. And you can see all the area we have to raise up right there. But first, we're going to build our large stairway down to the harbor, which is going to cut across the courtyard, like I said. So I'm going to have to clear all that land out down there, as you can see, which I won't make y'all bear through that. We're digging the moat, you know, because that's just a grueling, grindy process, as anybody knows. Boom, and as you can see, we're just going to stagger blocks all the way down. Come back and build our little archway across. Which that's going to be the height of our walls that we'll go back and fill in later. But boom. I'm gonna think I'm gonna mount some archers right there around the entrance. So when you're coming up, you're gonna have to be quick or you're gonna get shot. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix these. Looking good. Oh yeah. Alright, so like I said before, we're just going to come back and we're going to raise up all the ground inside and level it out. A grueling long process, making sure everything's nice and level, because we are going to eventually start building in there. And then we're going to come back and dig the moat out just a couple wide. Nothing really goes down in there except for the foliage occasionally. Some of them got spunk. And then we're going to jump back up top, of course, and now we're going to max out our wall. And just go up five high is what I've been doing from the ground base. That's tall enough. Keep the death mosquitoes out. Not really though, you know, them things are still gonna come in here. If they spawn on the outside, they're coming over that wall. You'd have to build that wall 100 meters high. Looking good so far. Mwah. And we're going to have additions to, we're going to add on to these backsides. Uh, we've already terraformed and flattened out with the future courtyard. Now I'm going to catch y'all up and show y'all what I did on the roof. The windows, of course, we're just going to knock the pieces out and then place one in the center and turn them once off the side. And boom, beautiful little ledges for us. Sexy. 
Alright, next. Back to the entrance. Run right around. Just like that. And let's add a little curvature to our walkway here. Who likes playing 90 degree angles for chumps? Oh yeah, level up. <gasps> Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Looks good. Beautiful. A little top. Yeah, I might do a little more up there. Hmm, that's hard. What do you I don't know what y'all think. Should I go all the way up with them? I could do some if only there were sloped concrete blocks besides the stairs. Hmm. Alright, so next we're gonna come inside and I'm gonna show you all how to take these concrete blocks and turn them into a brick lane pattern real easy. And we're gonna cover up this hideous looking raised ground right here. Now once you get that first block placed like that, boom, it's easy to run them. And we're just trying not to let the brakes fall in the same spot. So you want the, the brakes to land in the middle each time. And this is real life techniques right here used in brick masonry and carpentry. Pro tip. Whew. Oh yeah, it looks beautiful. And there we have it, folks. That's just going to get us started right there. I don't know, it looks a lot better than it just them stacked on top of each other, all grid patterned. It looks way more natural that way, I think, in my opinion. So this is, I think, I'm going to do one of the doorways like this. I might tear apart some of these watchtowers, but I'm just going to frame in this door. That way for future, it's the same exact size as the door. If I ever decide to stick one in there. It's going to be tricky tearing apart these watchtowers since they're tall. I'm going to have to support them well with reinforced wood and iron. That way we're not messing with any of the structural integrity up top. The same goes here. As I went through the window to come down through the second story to build this stairwell. I'm going to have to make sure you find a hole that you're not messing with the structural integrity of the main tower itself. So I picked a little spot right there right between the supports as you can see. You don't want your castle to start collapsing on you because you started knocking away boards. After destroying it and rebuilding it 10 times, I decided that this is how I'm going to start it. And now we're going to spiral once we hit this corner right here. Which we'll probably have to tear a whole bunch of this apart as we go. But I'm just going to get the stairs down for a reference. That way I know how much I need to exactly tear off. And it is a tight spot to work in. Just a little bit of patience and you can get around all the wooden iron supports. Makes it a little bit harder to place them, but you'll get it. Then I'm going to jump up top and I'm going to make a little subfloor. So I can make a hallway right before the entrance to the upstairs. And possibly I'm going to split off and make a third story and continue the wraparound to the third story in the roof. Wraparound staircase, of course. And obviously we didn't need that center reinforcement post like I had originally put right there. The iron held up fine. Now we can fill it all in. And of course since it's circular not everything is going to snap in right so you'll be doing a lot of shift click as usual and then I'm gonna jump down into the hallway and we're gonna widen it out a little bit because it's really narrow and just be mindful of the supports you might have to place some iron around to reroute your structural integrity fix this up nice 
pretty. And just keep filling in everything we can. That's what I love about these blocks right here. They just blend so well. Much better than the other ones. They kind of look crappy in my opinion. Hopefully with Hearth and Home we'll get some better walls too. Not just roofs. But anyways we're going to jump down to the bottom and fix the entrance up. Since we had to demo our way through. And after that, it should be looking a little something like this. Oh yeah, master bedroom. Mwah, mwah, beautiful, circular. Got the brick pattern coming in. Now let's run over here and patch this wall up. I like how when you do that pattern, it looks like an explosion went through. You know, it look, does look a little more realistic with that staggered brick pattern. But you most likely won't be able to seal this hole up with these, so we're going to have to use some wood walls, unfortunately. <laughs> gonna, I'm going to try to use as minimum wood as possible. Now we can just run around to the other side and flip some walls around and cover up that side. I hate the back side of those walls with those double boards. Ridiculous. Boom, boom. Looking good. And then of course the next step after this would be to blow out the back wall and extend it 20 meters, maybe 10-15 blocks or so, right there. And that's going to be the first addition and we're going to do the kitchen in there. We'll do the workroom over here with the smelters. We're going to have to make that one multiple stories. It's going to be a bunch of work, a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button for me and I will catch y'all in the next one.